Check out this caterpillar. Look at him. He actually has another eye on the other side. You can almost see it. Hey, Brittany, you think you can move that green blade of grass? This one? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Look at that. That is actually a caterpillar. Those are not real eyes. That looks like something out of a Disney movie. His real eyes are somewhere else. So it's the, uh, caterpillars have some of the most clever designs. Uh, I took a picture of one recently. You've also videotaped one. That one with all that defenses. That one that has like a big ego problem. Yeah, I know. I'm wondering if this. <laughs> I'm wondering what kind of defense this one has because almost all caterpillars have them because they're babies, so they need protection. So I'm trying to get a picture of his real face. Yeah, I'm trying to tilt him up for you. There. Now he's in the sun. It looks like a cartoon. I mean, that nature made that, guys. This isn't even the full story. This thing is going to go through a metamorphosis and become a giant butterfly. If you, I mean, may, maybe these are really common in some parts of the world. Maybe they're really common here. I don't really recognize them that well, but I feel like I've seen them before. I will spend... All day filming you, little guy. Uh, I figured out what kind of caterpillar it is. Okay, cool. What is it? It's a spicebush swallowtail caterpillar. It's a really cool one. Yeah, so, I mean, he apparently mimics a lot of different things. What is that? Mm -hmm. He, when they're very small, they mimic bird poop, like this Whoa. one. And there's a better picture, too. It's amazing. See that? Look at that. And yeah. then when they get a little older, they mimic snakes instead, like the one we saw. Right. Like that. Okay. So they're mimicking a snake there. And then what else do they do? Do they have any kind of defenses? Are they venomous? Do we know yes. that? Yes. Well, the disguise is a defense. And also, if we had bothered him enough, he would have stuck out this little forked thing, which is supposed to look like a snake tongue. It's coming out of his mouth. It's called an osmaterium. Oh, wow. That's where his tongue would come out. Uh-huh. And it emits some kind of chemical or... that I don't think would have hurt us, but it's supposed to deter, like, insect attackers. When he's building his cocoon, he builds a little safety net out of silk for himself to hold him on the tree so he won't fall. Yeah, it looks like fishing line. I know. Look up here where it's attached. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That is incredible. And... The safety net stays on even when he's a cocoon. And is he disguised as a leaf there or he something? He is. He's disguised as a leaf from... Fractal patterns and everything. Look uh -huh. at that. From the spice bush tree. This is an actual leaf that he's trying to mimic. He's very good. I mean, that that is... There's something so interesting and not known about these... You know, how, how nature creates these animals. Mm-hmm. I recognize the butterfly it turns into from my garden. I see these all the time. Yeah, these are, yeah, we have those in our yard. Mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty? It's a swallowtail. Oh, wow. Because of these little... Gosh, yeah. for being such an impressive caterpillar, he kind of grows up into a fairly attractive They're beautiful butterfly. in real life, because when they're flying in the sun, like yeah, this, right. Um, this blue part really glistens and shines. It's like... But the black and the blue, I, I'd like to see some like green and orange and blue crazy colors. Well, yeah. anyway, I like them. I was hoping I had discovered a new species, but I didn't. I, uh, I, I was going to call it the Zacropillar because I figured there's no way anyone's ever, I'm surely I would know about this thing if I, if, if I, it existed, but I didn't know. You learn something new every day. Yeah, yeah I know. Thank you very much. Bree is so resourceful. I would have never taken the time to do that. So.